This site is a digital drug. Hi here, Phil there. Five personal portfolios that should inspire you to do things you've never done before. Let's go. Portfolio number six. <laughs> this site is a digital drug. Three, four, methylene deoxymethamphetamine. General public knows it by beautiful girl names, Molly and Mandy. It affects serotonin levels in the brain, leading to increased feelings of empathy, emotional openness, and heightened sensations. Basically, this site makes you feel feelings a regular site usually does. It. it makes you experience a sense of discovery and revelation. It evokes something other than, ooh, it's cool, or ooh, it's pretty. Happiness, sadness, anger, fear, surprise, disgust, love, envy, guilt, shame, excitement, anxiety, jealousy, content, directive, compassion, hope, right, love, loneliness. <laughs> I think we should be doing this more often. There are so many available emotions out there, and designers almost never use any of them. It's usually just, it's cool, it's pretty, or it's pretty cool. At some point, this stuff just stops standing out. There was a business center in Slough where women wore exactly the same dress every day. All died from bubonic plague one day. Horrible. My grandfather used to have a goat in his chest. Fortunately, doctors were able to remove it quickly. The butt. Not being able to go back and see previous works, it might not be a good idea. Functionality and getting the visitor what they came for is still kinda important. A lying duck. Order now. Portfolio number 5. This one is probably the most complex in terms of coding. By the way, if you enjoy advanced coding challenges and want to sh shave ship, if you enjoy coding challenges and want to stay sharp and keep improving your skills, definitely try Codecrafters, I got you 40% off. And they also have some free stuff as well, the link is in the description. Once upon a time there was a little girl and her grandmother. One day grandmother fell and crushed the girl. 
<clears throat> the, the end. Telling stories is hard. This portfolio is a story, and we've seen a couple of them before. But it's not that many of them. There could be a reason for that. The tricky part is that you need to make the story engaging enough and exciting enough so that the visitors watch it with the pace that you set for them. Basically, you are taking control away from the user at a certain extent. It's like making someone watch the entire video you've made. Trust me, this is hard. If you can do it, do it. But there are easier ways to make a portfolio stand out from the rest. This one does it really well though. But the but. A 3D space needs 3D navigation that fits. This one doesn't fit. It looks like it came from a 2003 PowerPoint presentation on PVC piping sales. A flat hangable cat. Only today. Order now. Like the video. Portfolio number 4. Very simple interactions and there is nothing really complex here in terms of coding. It's just showing and hiding different images on different layers and changes colors. Here is the takeaway. If you're an illustrator, don't hide your work behind your website design. Make it your website design. Your own work is a great source of inspiration and can also become building blocks of your website design. A yodeling pickle, only today, order now. Portfolio number three. An amazing example of a portfolio without a portfolio. As a web developer, ever since the invention of the CSS Flexbox, punching web designers in the face is a thing that I feel less like doing. But this site is oddly satisfying. I feel like this is largely underused in UX and UI. If you also a VFX lover, like I am, you might have seen those uh, Corridor Crew videos. And sometimes they make these we've made satisfying animations uh, kind of videos. And they're really fun to watch. So why do web users, whenever they feel a pressing need for something satisfying that is also interactive, still have to resort to popping bubble wrap, squishing a frog, turning cat's ears inside out, or rattling a chin of an uh, abyss lady? Is there anyone doing this in UI and UX on the web? Let me know if you know. Maybe I should do it. It's all very nice. Except for one thing. This hamburger button. This button is an eject button on a plane where canopy doesn't open. You press it and it snaps you out of this wonderful and satisfying 3D world and plunges you back into ordinary dullness. Look, I'm a website, I have round corners and text. This is like meeting a beautiful, smart, funny and perfect girl and then one day discovering she is actually a, a plastic tray. A giant bread loaf. Only today. Order now. Portfolio number two. Just like a regular household turkey, it looks like a game. B but it isn't. It's actually a great example of a fun and exciting UI that doesn't require any additional effort from the visitor. All you need to do is scroll. Also, this site tricks our brain into thinking it looks much more complex than it actually is. This dude is actually not going anywhere. He's just fixed on the screen there and jumps up at exactly the same pace to exactly the same height. It's just a background that scrolls horizontally and sometimes vertically, creating this illusion. And also the character animation is done in a quite clever way. Basically, it's just a single background image that contains all the poses in it, and to animate them, it just changes position. And this allows quickly loading all those frames and quickly switching between them, because it's just a single image. So the site is all about tricking you. And also, far more interesting, 
This site is actually 11 years old and it still looks great. And it will look great in 11 more years if it's still live. Let's look at apple.com from 11 years ago. Or google.com. Or, I don't know, Facebook. Why doesn't this site look dated? I might have a theory about that, but first let me know in the comments what you think. I'm really curious. And finally, portfolio number one. A portfolio that lets you spend Bill Gates' money. Here it is.